In 1990, the first President Bush signed America's first cap-and-trade system into law. Emissions of sulfur dioxide, acid rain, were killing off fish, damaging forests, even tarnishing the paint on new automobiles. Congress and the White House forged a solution. This landmark legislation will reduce air pollution each year by 56 billion pounds. That's 224 pounds for every man, woman, and child in America. Under a cap-and-trade system, the cap sets the total allowable level of pollution, but each company decides for itself how to comply. Some companies find they can make investments to reduce their emissions far below the cap. Others prefer to trade, purchasing some of those excess reductions from the companies that achieve them. For acid rain, the net result has been to cut sulfur dioxide by 50 percent below 1980 levels, three years ahead of schedule and at a fraction of the projected cost of traditional regulation, which would have dictated a one-size-fits-all approach.